coach your team up big again after um, after day two. I think I want to start with Clark Smith. What did that mean to you to see him be back on top after the way things went last year? Well, last year Clark was 15 pounds down from his 200 pounds at 6'10". So then one of these bright lights, if you put it behind him, we'd have been able to see his musculature with that light back there. So, well, I'm just glad he swam the race like he trains. Um, what was what, what was it like seeing him have that and have that American record that obviously lasted for such a long time? Yeah, I saw Tom Dolan go 408, maybe eight, in a speedo, long in 1997. So records are made to be broken. So I was glad to get that one. Will they be broken in this pool? Pardon me? Will they be broken in this pool? Well, they're being broken in this pool. But I know you're not real pleased with the wall. I've never been an Omega touchpad man that go all the way up, which keeps the water from, the waves bounce back instead of go out. So, but obviously I'm not in charge yet, but yeah. soon I will be. Eddie, what do you think about tonight as far as building the momentum mentally after sort of a disappointing performance last night? I know that you guys had expected more, but tonight you really rebounded. Obviously it shows in the points, but also in the attitudes of the guys on the, in the pool. Well, we, we talk about momentum, and in this sport, or almost in any sport, momentum is the next success. That starts the momentum for you. So, all we, we just work hard to swim fast. We want to be faster than last year. And that'll put us wherever it puts us. Because there are some times that you can't go fast enough to win. Because there's a Ryan Murphy or a Joseph Schooling or somebody like that out there. Doesn't mean they're the only successful person. So I'm a, I'm a purist and a softy, so that's how I sell it. How was Will Lacone feeling coming off that IM? Fast enough to win, maybe not as fast as he would have hoped, and then coming and providing such a huge leg on that uh, relay, maybe fastest ever. I don't know what happened to him on the IM. We haven't really talked about it. But it I mean, his race plan this morning was really good. Mm -hmm. He doesn't swim that fast in the morning usually. Right. He has struggled to get in. So we really thought he was going to knock one for a loop and just got out almost a second slower. And you just can't do that in this field. Right. And then coming back for the, for the relay where? Breaststroke on the relay. <laughs> Why did it mean so much to him, you think? I saw him flexing on the blocks there. Was he flexing? Well, he How could you tell? He was celebrating. He looked happy. Well, I mean, nothing moves. <laughs> no, actually, he's got muscles now. <laughs> well, we've... My favorite picture of is of Will doing a squat, doing four squats with 352 pounds. So he is finally, as a senior, gotten strong enough to handle his long arms and his long legs. So going fast is directly related to strength. There are no, no magic wands out there. John Shevitt really put things together. Where, I assume that was something coming, but what went right for him at this meet today? Shevitt is an engineer makes real good grades. There's one or two practices a week he's late to because of class, but he just comes in and busts it up. He works hard at everything. He is, uh, well, you know he didn't start swimming until his junior year in high school. Wow. And then he recruited me for about <laughs> a year. He and his mom, and then I was sold, and so. He's the kind of guy that makes me look a lot better than I am. 
see the, a, a team like that go 259 um, so much faster than you know, they've ever been. 259 in the medley relay is, I can remember when 302 for a free relay was good. That means you average 44 with a breaststroke on there. Yeah. That's really amazing. So how, how are you guys feeling right now? Have a big lead going into that uh, third day. I'll bet none of them know how much ahead we are. And honestly, I don't. Like the guys out there chit-chatting, I've told them, I said, I've asked the referee and the meet's not over. We've got two more days to go. Let's keep it important. Coach, sorry if I missed this while this away, but so Clark Smith had this big 500 tonight. How important do you think it was to him after a year, last year, having a tough meet? It was real important, and to go that fast was important. But the thing is, Clark does workouts that I've never seen or never heard of. So he should be able to go that fast. So, and he did it. Should is not a good word. <laughs> Anything else, Brad? Thanks. Congrats, Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thank you. Thanks, Ed.